The Republicans won the elections in November 2010. They were sworn in in January 2011. Since then, zero, zip, nothing in terms of legislative accomplishment. And that, of course, is because they have been otherwise occupied. After getting sworn in in January, by April, they threatened to shut down the government. That was April. By July, Republicans had forced the first ever debt ceiling crisis in American history. We got our national credit rating downgraded for that one before they eventually blinked and decided they didn't want to keep going. By September of that same year, Republicans were again threatening another government shutdown. By April of the following year, more threats from Republicans of another government shutdown. By December, by this past December, Happy New Year, Republicans were pushing us over the fiscal cliff. By January, this past January, congressional Republicans were talking about forcing another debt ceiling crisis before again backing down. And now, happy September 30th. We are due for that often threatened Republican shutdown before tonight is through. This is not an accident that just keeps happening over and over again. Republicans control one half of one branch of government, and they have never had any plan to use that control to pass anything into law. If they had had that kind of plan they might have passed something into law. But they haven't even seriously tried. We are deep into year three of them running the House now, and we've got zip from them in terms of law or policy. And we're at seven and counting when it comes to can't keep the lights on failures of basic governance. And that is just as they planned it. In September 2010, just a few weeks before the midterm elections where the House Republicans won their majority and won back control of the House, a Republican congressman from Georgia, Lynn Westmoreland, he spoke to a conservative audience at a Christian coalition event, uh, the Faith and Freedom Conference. And he exhorted that conservative crowd that the Republicans were going to need their support when they moved to shut down the government. Again, this is ahead of the election. They were already planning on shutting down the government even before they got elected that November. Congressman Westmoreland said Republicans were going to do it again this time, just like they did the last time they took power in the House after the 1994 elections. Now, the audio here is a little sketchy, but lucky we had a transcript. So check this out. He can tell you what happened. The government shut down. And the American people If we hold the line, if we can get those courageous men and women to be part of our majority, if we say, look, We need to make sure that you are going to be with us when we shut down the government, which we will do if we win the majority this year. That was before the 2010 election. When we get the majority, we're going to shut down the government. That was the plan from the beginning. That was what they were promising to their own base and getting cheers for from their own base. If they got the majority, that's what they do. And then they got the majority and then they followed through. We will do what we have to do to shut down the government if we have to. So you think even if that were to happen, theoretically, it wouldn't be as bad as people make it out? No, I don't think it would be. I really don't. Do you think shutdown should be off the table? Uh, uh, everything ought to be on the table. i got to tell you, most people in my district say shut it down. This country very well may need uh, some sort of shock therapy. Would it be a good thing uh, fiscally and philosophically if the government did shut down for a few weeks and the American people could see life would go on without the federal government for a little while? I don't think it would hurt uh, one bit. Even if it means say, showing how serious we are, okay, government's going to have to shut down. If liberals in the Senate would rather play political games and shut down the government instead of making a small down payment on fiscal discipline and reform, I say, shut it down. Shut it down. Cut it or shut it. Cut it or shut it. That's how they campaigned for office in 2010. That's what they promised they would do if they were elected in 2010. And that is what they started to do as soon as they were elected in 2010. This was their whole idea for governance. This is their whole idea for why it's worth it to even try to have control of some lever of American governmental power. 
And so within a matter of weeks after they were sworn in in January 2011, Republicans were giving John Boehner a standing ovation in their caucus meeting when he said, yeah, we are preparing for a shutdown. That was the first time. Hooray, a shutdown, because this is what they would promised. They weren't promising any specific result. They were just promising to use this tactic. And I think this is crucial. The tactic itself is the point. The shutdown may or may not accomplish anything. It's the shutdown itself that is the point. It demonstrates a willingness to go to extremes, which is fun and ideologically desirable. And it shows a decisive lack of respect for what government is. It is a tactical insult to the whole idea of governance. So it's just perfect for the American right, no matter what it accomplishes, even if it accomplishes nothing. The shutdown itself is the point. And so when it started to become clear that Republicans were taking over the House, look, look back. This was back from 2010. Ahead of the 2010 election, pundits on the right knew what they were going to get excited for. I'm almost giddy thinking about a government shutdown next year. I cannot wait. Why shut it down? Because we'll be able to. Because Republicans are about to win enough control in Washington to be able to do it. They knew that ahead of the election. And then they got elected. And now we've got, this is this week, House Republicans coming out of their closed-door meeting on Saturday when they decided to vote for a shutdown. And they did not see this as a somber thing a sober thing that they were taking on reluctantly, a bad thing that they were reluctant to do. When they came out of that conference meeting, having just decided to shut down the government, they were psyched. This is exactly what we called for. We're all getting behind leadership. We think we're going to get every vote. We're excited. We're united. It's all good. Good plan. How'd it go in there? Very good. Very well. well. That's great. We're shutting down the government. What could be better? They see this as great news. Reporters have been staking out the committee rooms and the meeting rooms where Republican members of Congress has been confabbing and deciding what to do these past few days. And their description of the mood among Republicans is jarring. House Republicans were ecstatic Saturday when Mr. Boehner and his leadership team presented their plan. Quote, the mood in the Capitol on Saturday, at least among Republicans, was downright giddy. When Republican leaders presented their plan in a closed-door meeting on Saturday, cheers and chants of vote, vote, vote went up. As members left the meeting, many wore beaming grins. Representative John Culberson of Texas told reporters that as he and his colleagues were clamoring for a vote, he shouted out his own encouragement. I said, like 9-11, let's roll. Let's roll. Let's bring the U.S. government to its knees, just like on 9-11, except the other way. There is a kind of palpable glee on the Republican side about this accomplishment that they are bringing about tonight. They are psyched. There is no mirror image between the two major parties. There is only one major party of the two that strives for control in government specifically because that is the place from which you can hurt government the worst. There is nothing about the last few weeks of political back and forth that explains why this is happening. There is nothing about health reform specifically that explains why this is happening. In 2011, they didn't bother making it about health reform. They made it about the budget back then. Or maybe it'll be Planned Parenthood funding. Or maybe it'll be contraceptive. Let's just pick something. What we want is a shutdown. What is happening tonight is happening tonight because this is what Republicans want to do. This is what they promised to do. This tactic, let's roll, this tactic is an end in and of itself. And that is why there is no talking them out of it. Elect Republicans and they will burn the place down. And they will laugh while they do it and have a great time. And then what?